Hey everybody, welcome back to Ryan Makes Sense. Today we are looking at designer brands. They have earnings tomorrow morning. So I wanted to check out the stock with you, see if the stock deserves to be uh, at $10, less than $10, around $8. We're gonna find that out. Uh, looking at the daily chart, I see a little bit of mix, mix and match here. We can see that the stock cannot hold, excuse me, the um, 365 day SMA right here. You can see that it is rejecting it and the stock is below it. However, you can also see this looks like a bull flag. Whoops. So what I mean by that, and we can go all the way back here. Here's our flag pull, and here is our flag. Let's make it a little bit. There we go. That's nice. That's a good little flag. flag. So it's a, it's a consolidation flag, and then it generally moves up. This is on the daily. If you know me and you know my content, you know I love to look at the bigger picture. So we're going to take a, take a few steps back here. I've charted this one out before. Uh, I do know about this stock. Okay. Um, yes, the uh, family of insiders. Yes. Yes, I remember now. Uh, okay, the strength. I drew some lines a while ago, and the strength is faltering. The momentum is flat. It does not know where to go at this point in time. Money flow coming up. <clears throat> Relative momentum is kind of, you could see it scraped the bottom of the barrel, got some sediment, and it's gone up, and now it's kind of doing a little, it's like thinking about it. It looks like it's like whoop, or it's like ooh. So a little bit of some mixed signals there. Uh, we are in this very long, long-term triangle with the low at $4.38. And we have so much resistance right here, right here, right here. And yeah, there's tons of other uh, micro resistances on the, the 30 minute, the one hour, the four hour, the daily, the weekly. We're keeping it simple. There's a lot of resistance here. Um, what we wanted to figure out is, okay, are they profitable? Okay. Um, are insiders institutions buying? That's what I, oh my Lord, 24% shares are shorted. If I see institutions piling into this one, it could get messy for, <clears throat> for uh, retail. <clears throat> okay, this stock is very undervalued today. In the future, it's undervalued as well. <clears throat> earnings per share it's positive that's great sales is in the three billion dollar range amazing shares outstanding amazing you want to see this going down they are not diluting retail shareholders quick ratio 0.29 that is not good that means if they close their doors tomorrow they would not be able to pay back shareholders or not shareholders uh banks you know people who they loan from notes etc so that's pretty scary, but they are profitable. So I think it's just a matter of time. And I think I'm getting my hopes up here, but I think based off earnings tomorrow, we could be at or near the bottom around $8. So um, let's go ahead and uh, run through my, I'm going to do my calculation here. They have 103.8. Oh, it's in the billion, so I gotta do a longhand. Uh, but their market cap is not over one billion, so it's not in the calculation. They do 103 million eight hundred and seventy thousand. That's billions. 103 million eight hundred and seventy thousand in income. So I see why they're doing a dividend. That makes sense. Plus, they're doing three billion eighty million in sales. Insane. Great for them. We're gonna go down and add cash, remove debt. Every $2 billion they spend, they get $3 billion back. That's that's good. So their gross margins are like 30 some percent. 
Yeah, 32%. That's that's fantastic. That's high growth. That's high growth. Okay. Um, ooh, the Schlottensteins, do some, uh, do some homework into them. A little insider information passing in between the family. Um, we see a lot of selling. So Deborah sold quite a bit, but did she get options down here? She got 102,000 options. Okay, so that makes sense. Some more, okay. Um, Mark sold 2,000. Do we have Mark down here? Oh, he's up here. 23,000, okay. Jordan, William Jordan sold around 150,000. William Jordan, 102,000. Okay. Mark Haley again, 2,000. James Weinberg, 23. James Weinberg, 42. Okay. So I'm not seeing any red flags here, which is good in terms of insider selling. Uh, let's go to the balance sheet here. All right. They have plus 58,770,000. Good for them. Total assets, 789 million. Total liability, 636. That is very freaking scary. Oh, I need, to, I need to look at the quarterly. I'm sorry. Okay, so I did do 58 million. So let's remove the 58.77 minus 58.77. Okay, we removed that. So we're going to add 54 million, 640,000. So what I just did, I just, I removed the old number and I added this one right here. So, okay, uh, total assets is 2.1 billion. Total liabilities is 1.7 billion. Okay. That's about a three, a 400, 500 million dollar buffer. That's a little sketch to me, honestly. It's a little scary. It's risky. It's risky. If the company is doing its U-turn, okay. But we want to see some improvements on the balance sheet here. Um, apologies. Total debt, long-term debt is 1 billion. So minus 1 billion for... 42,460,000. Okay. Uh, their debt situation is not getting any better, but it's not getting out of control. It's better than what it was in 2022. Okay. Okay. Um, I want to see them tackle the debt. I mean, they make three bill in debt. I'm sorry. They make three bill in sales and they have one bill in debt. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, but I would like them to use that money to strengthen the balance sheet. I would be okay if they stopped the dividend too. Stop that. Put the money towards the business right now. Okay, so we're going to take this and divide it by 41,600,000. So this is saying a potential stock price is $52. With 24% of the shares being shorted, that is insane. Why? Let's do some math here. So there's 41.6 million shares times 0.2424. 10, so there's 31 million shares available to buy on the long side. So 31 million shares available and the stock price is $10. If someone comes with $31 million on the ask, this thing could freaking go. That is crazy. That is so crazy. Um, I don't know why there are so many people shorting it. I mean, did they suspend their dividend? Let's see, dividend. Uh, okay, I don't think they've paid a dividend since 2023. Okay, okay, I feel better. I feel better. Okay. <laughs> Good. This is just, see, Finviz does not update their data. And it shows that they're still paying it. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Yeah. It looks like they haven't paid since a dividend since 2022, actually.
Uh, no, 2023. It looks like they... They did? Okay. So it looks like they're still paying the dividend. I would want to see them cut that. Um, I mean, if they have a killer quarter, then keep it. But come on. Okay, uh, I want to see what institutional uh, investors are doing. I think that's going to give us a better story as well into what's going on. Um, what I would consider as a long-term investor who likes risk. If my computer load. Let's just refresh this. So institutions own 89%. That is old data. New data shows 84%. That is a 15% increase. Look at here. All right, it's the institutional ownership and comfortability is coming back nice and slow. All right, we're going to see Vanguard and BlackRock, I'm guessing, down here. Yep, Vanguard trimmed 13%, BlackRock trimmed 14%, Millennium Management sold 95%. William Blair sold 40%, so a lot of trimming here. Goldman Sachs added to their position. Okay, some institutional buying. I'm not seeing any positions liquidating, which would be red. There we go, there's one. Gotham, Gotham, okay, so um, given where the stock is at, let's look at a uh, bull, bull target and a bear target. I think bull target is $12. I think bear target is $7. Um, and I would be inclined to wait. I will wait. I don't have position. I would wait. Um, I want to see if I can get below here. It kind of looks like it might. It kind of also looks like a head and shoulders. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder with the stock just melting. <laughs> I mean, it could happen, honestly. I'm not trying to put some bad juju out there and I don't want anyone to lose money, but That's what it. That's what it's looking like. Um, okay, so yeah, those are my targets. I say twelve dollar on the bullish side if it does really, if it does well. If it does really well, I say fourteen. If it sucks, I'm gonna say seven fifty two. Uh, last earnings they had, it went from I think. Let's see. I'm not even gonna guess. It went from thirteen. It went from like twelve eighty down to eight fifty. So. It wouldn't be out of the question to see it go down. Again, we're getting some mixy match here. And this bull flag is a little bit too cockeyed for me. I'd like to see a bit more of a vertical flag. And it can't hold the 365 DSMA. So I think this one could do well in the long run. I want to see them get rid of that dividend, put that money towards the business, strengthen the balance sheet. I want to see uh, some more consolidation at a lower price for me to get in. But if this stock is already in the middle of a turnaround, Good for good for them. So if you made it this far, consider subscribing, consider hitting the like, leave a comment, tell me if I'm crazy, and good luck everyone.